Yikes. And I and love that's her, her character. On I Empire. met Regina Hall the other day. She touched my hand. I just wanted to let you know that. She's a beautiful I woman. saw her on you. I was beautiful. jealous of that. Tell me that we didn't look like a great couple together. You if, if did we, not. Why would you say that? But you did not. We didn't look like a good couple? No. Why? She's 50 years old. She looks 20. Okay. You're 40. You look 800. <laughs> what are you going to add to Regina Hall's life? Uh, a lot of already slid in what? DMs. I'm just waiting you for the response. I, what could... What? You want to see uh, the... I got the receipt. You better not. Oh, you think it's a game? You didn't. You think I did it? What did you say to Regina Hall? You're going to see what Why I said to Why are you wasting her time? Nobody racing... Me and Regina Hall could be a whole thing. That is impossible. Me, what, for me and Regina? Yeah. Why would Regina Hall be like, you know what? Doughboy in North Hollywood is where I'm... <laughs> you lie. I ain't lying. <laughs> I'm gonna blow a reach off it. What up, y'all, and welcome to another bonus episode of Righteous and Ratchet. Now, listen, before we start, this is the final bonus episode that's for the entire viewing public. Henceforth, now and forevermore, the bonus episodes are for our patrons only. Mm -hmm. So you'll always get your Wednesday episode. Don't trip. No matter what, you'll get your Wednesday episode. But if you're a patron, RighteousandRatchet.com and you pay $5 a month, you'll get two you feel. Righteous and Ratchets a week. Yeah. So if you want to be more righteous and more ratchet, uh -huh, yeah. slide that five. We're nice. going to be live. I haven't if even you ain't got it, it's all good. Just wait for we'll the Wednesday. We'll see you on Wednesday. It's good. But we couldn't wait for Jesse. Oh, no. We had to talk about... We got to oh, talk about Let me introduce Justice. myself, because you introduce yourself. I I'm, didn't say Kev on stage. That's well, what well, right We've got to introduce ourselves. I'm Kev on stage. I am Dubois. And this it's, is Righteous and Ratchet, and Josh is opening the sound. Really? Louder you just, than you, just, you, louder just than you think it is. Louder than you think it is. Jeez, what is this? X, OSR, what they call the things? The XLR. XLR? Okay. ASMR. Okay, okay listen. Okay, all right, all right. Exactly what I think it is. Okay, all right. <laughs> so here's, let's, let's. Okay, let's, start, let's level up. I'm going to be honest. Mm. Be completely honest with y'all. Tell them the truth. I didn't want to talk about it. I know you didn't, but guess what? Oh, we're gonna talk about it. I did not want to talk. Why about didn't you it. want to talk about it, Kevin? I'm gonna give you a couple reasons. Okay, why. okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna walk through my, through my justice. Shimmy us through this. I'm gonna shimmy you through my justice. Okay. The news broke. Mm -hmm. Maybe two weeks ago now. Something like that. it was before the Super Bowl. Two or three weeks ago now. Mm -hmm. Empire actor Jesse Smollett has been attacked. People in red hats saying uh, racial slurs and homophobic slurs. Mm -hmm. This is MAGA country, N-word. Mm -hmm. Get out of here, you scram. Scat. Okay? My initial reaction was, dang, bro, that's crazy. That's sad. Mm -hmm. If that can happen to Jesse. It could happen to any of it us. It can happen to anybody. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, a lot of people, Doughboy included, smelt funny from the beginning. From but the I'm not going to lie to y'all. Didn't smell funny to me. It smelled okay? smell funny. I tend to believe people. Mm -hmm. I believe the story. Thought it was unusual. It's like, dang, that's crazy. Nothing about it struck you as odd. Cause I'm gonna Not break down. No, I'm gonna tell. I'm, I'm gonna give you my honest opinion. Okay. Not initially. Mm -hmm. However, I don't tend to pick through things immediately. Okay. When I watch movies, Melissa be figuring them out. <laughs> I just be like, mm -hmm. you, just, you just be sitting there. Just, when I, uh, uh, yeah, uh, I lock uh, it. Uh, what happened? <laughs> when I tell you, you think I'm lying. <laughs> You know the Sixth Sense, right? Uh -huh. Bruce Willis was a uh, was dead. Uh -huh. Didn't know that for like three months after the movie. Still loved it. So I was in <laughs> high school. You watched the whole movie. Whole movie. Missed the whole plot. Twist. I was in high school and we were talking about it at lunch. They were like, "Bro, it was crazy that he was dead the whole time." I was like, "Who?" <laughs> They're like, Bruce Willis was dead. I was like, "What do you mean?" He was talking to him. They was like, "You never noticed? Nobody else noticed him?" I was like, "No, I can't recall that." I they did. did a whole recap at the end Bro, and replayed they the moment. They pointed you right to it. I was just like, I'm, 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 "I like." This movie <laughs> totally missed it. So, I don't be figuring stuff clearly. Out. Except see, Incredibles too. I figured out that it was the sister. I just seen that over the weekend. Early on, great movie. Okay, or I figured out her, but yeah. I don't tend to. I'm not looking ahead. But see, this is this is the thing because I thought about this. I knew we was going to talk about it, yeah. and you know I couldn't wait. But much like you know a lot of scholastic things mm -hmm. that I don't know because you went to college and the like. Yeah. I've been in these streets, Kevin. You from Sacramento. I'm from Sacramento. It and is it not accidental. accidental. I was trapping in a rental and never I was never sentimental. sentimental. Yeah, so feel me. I just have, I've been around a lot of different type of people. Crooks, gramblers, regular straight arrow people. <laughs> gamblers. Gamblers and gramblers. <laughs> hey, so a grambler. I've, <laughs> I've been around a lot of people so I can just smell 
BS really fast. No, you can smell beef steak. <laughs> <laughs> That's what BS means for Boiling you. Boiling stew. <laughs> Brisket no. sandwiches, I smell you from a mile away. So I There's just... a new barbecue spot opening. I smelled them open a sauce. <laughs> Three miles this way. You gotta do like this. Latitude uh-huh. 116, <laughs> longitude 112. They're using a honey hickory sauce. And I like it. <laughs> a hint of blackberry <laughs> and nutmeg. I'll allow it. So I'm I opening knew, in Nicaragua. I knew off the rip. You ain't some, know off the rip. You know what I can tell you? Just off of the very, very quickly. And I did not. And I text you yes. the day that it happened. We okay, have now the hold receipts. on. Let me pause. Let me okay. pause this. Mm-hmm. Doughboy wanted to talk about this immediately Mm -hmm. on the podcast, and I ain't going to hold Mm y'all. The last thing I ever want to do is be on the wrong side of a homophobic thing. Me neither. I don't want to get dragged by Twitter. I was like, I'll be quiet. I I don't know. Doughboy sent me something, the story with the side eyes. And I was was like, like, nope, nope. But see, this is. I'm not going to get dragged on Twitter. (laughs) And I say nothing. I didn't see nothing. <laughs> and see, that was the thing. And that was the reason why I held off saying anything because I did not want to be accused of victim shaming. Yeah. But the story off the rip didn't make sense. Let me just, I can just, li- like when things happen, I can break okay, it down really quick. Okay. So when it happened and he says, you got to remember, this was the week yes. that they were comparing. They said Chicago is colder than Antarctica this week. Yes. At 2.30 in the morning, mm-hmm. Jesse Decides Jussie. that he Not wants Jesse. 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 Decides that he wants a sandwich. Mm-hmm. Cool, I get it. I like midnight snacks. Y- oh, you, yeah. <laughs> but you get up and walk out at two thirty in the morning he, in he, this weather to go get a sandwich. Okay, but he could have been coming home. He never said he left his apartment and went to Subway. He just said he was walking to one. He could have been there, out late for any number of there's reasons. There's no reason to just be strolling the he, street in that weather, Kevin. He could have had a show. He could have had any. I'm okay. telling you my thought process. Okay, so my thought process. I and, didn't automatically think, oh, he lying. Okay, like I also didn't really think at I all. I put all the things together, but that was the first thing. Like, because I had just, outside. I had just been hearing this, and I'm a big dude, so I'm like, if I'm a fat guy mm. and I'm not going down there for gumbo, like I wouldn't go out of there for nothing. So you, I, that already nothing. I, yeah, you right. A you're right, you're right. I ain't gonna hold you. Okay, you remind me back <laughs> on uh, Chippendale. <laughs> Gee, if somebody had a full rack of St. Louis. I'm gonna pull up, but you that's might. okay. But when I when that was the first thing that was wrong. Okay. Then as the story just went on, I said, okay, that wasn't enough for me to just think that you're lying. Yeah. Then he said they had MAGA hats, so that was just Why like if you got because I'm gonna tell you if you get attacked. I get that that's something that you would recognize, but you, you're you not looking at somebody's face. And that's the only thing it's you see. It's dark. And he said they had masks on. Okay, and yeah. I get it. But so I was just like, when he said MAGA hats, I was just like, that's, that's different. Then mm-hmm. he said the things that they said. Mm-hmm. He said, hey, you, you're that expletive okay, now, from I, Empire. I'm, I'm like, not, are racists really you. watching Empire? That part, that's I was just, just like. <laughs> and why that, would they need not, to attack him? Here's my thing, okay? <laughs> and I'm not gonna hold you. Right. I didn't immediately think that, Mm -hmm. but as I heard the story again, I was like, I don't think, Mm -hmm. I don't believe, okay, now, Terrence Howard, Uh I feel like they would recognize him. Maybe not from Empire. Taraji, Mm -hmm. recognizable regardless. Those are supremely famous people. They've been in like, you know, Terrence Howard was in, uh, he was in Iron Man, Mm -hmm. okay? Taraji uh, was in Hustle and Flow. Baby Boy. Well, I don't think, MAGA people are watching Baby Boy. Right, you're right. But she was in um, uh, Hidden Figures. Right. Movies that non-black people watch. Right. Empire's core cast is, is us. Right. So one, you watch it. Two, you recognize him from it. That part was like, bro, I don't, even, I don't even watch Empire no more. I honestly, I stopped watching that for the first season, really. I just Here's my thing about Empire. Right. Loved it the first season. You and the sandwich, Josh. I felt like... <laughs> Could you just take it out? No, just take it out because we keep hearing it. It's distracting. I, I, take I, it out. I, I, I feel like on Empire, they didn't think they were going to get a second season. Right. So they were like everything Empty the clip. in. And now they're on their like fourth season. Yeah. It's like, bro. So I ain't going to hold you. That yeah. part I was like, MAGA hat wearing, looking for trouble, people are like... At 2.30 in the morning, we're just... Also, we're just that, at two thirty in the morning. We need to find this guy from no, this no, show, no. Cookie and Lucius' son. <laughs> if I ever see him, <laughs> why I, I yada. So then okay. that but I still, I still was just kind of still, with the side it's eye. Not unbelievable. Then it's he, highly unlikely, right? But not unbelievable. Then the stuff came out about the noose and the bleach. I was like, 
Okay. This just seems very extra. You know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? So I'm still sitting there listening. And then they said, after the attack, then go and call the police. Walked home with the noose on. I know you brought that up. Like, if you get, I've never had a noose put on my neck ever well, you once. You got a large neck. <laughs> <laughs> they don't sell that but much it, rope at Home Depot. In the event that I get one put on my neck, I'm not going to leave it on my neck. So, you I, know, here's the thing. No. Okay, now here's, I want to stop you okay. here. Go ahead. Okay. I think it's too easy. Okay, I, now I'm going to, let me preface this by saying, okay. assuming everything is true, which is where I was so still at. A, a bold assumption. Okay, assuming oh. everything is, I'm talking about when I Remember first heard when the story. Yeah. Okay. It's too easy to say what you would do in your conscious mind mm -hmm. and that didn't happen to you. Right. Okay, if that really happened to you for real, you might be dazed, you might be in shock, you don't know what you might do. Mm -hmm. We from the outside always say, now here's, I saw a funny tweet somebody said. Mm -hmm. We always talking about, I could never be in slavery, I could never be, I would run away. And the person on, on Twitter <laughs> said, you could never be a slave, but you walk back from your desk crying because your boss wouldn't give you that day off. <laughs> but you wouldn't be a slave. <laughs> it's super easy to say right. what you would and couldn't do right. when it's not you. True. Because a lot of times that stuff's not everybody, especially on social media. Right. Bro, I would have sucked because I would have did this and that. It could never be me. Why would you? You don't know what you might do. True. You don't but, know. Okay. And I, but see, that's the thing. So this is the thing that was the, it was a domino effect for me because it wasn't like pizza. one of, it wasn't like one of those things, but in the it event was, when you're the entire recounting, circumference the first time I hear the first lie, then everything I got a question. So the mm -hmm. first thing I was like, why are you at a 2.30 in the morning mm -hmm. trying to get a sandwich? Yeah. Now everything else that you say, I'm just look, I'm not saying you're lying. Yep. I'm just looking at it like, hmm, this is interesting. And then when he, when he, fi he, he wasn't saying anything publicly. Then when he finally came out, he went to a club. Right. This was very telling. Yeah. He was reading his statement off of an index card. Why do you need an index card to tell you how you feel? Yeah. It just happened two weeks ago. You're a young guy. He's sitting there like, yeah, so the guy rushed me. And then I told him. I but this is where he, he was reading it off a card. Then he says, I'm the gay Tupac. <laughs> I, I, I now at this point, that. I'm like. I don't know why. I, when he said that, I said, okay, I know exactly what this is. You know what my hope was? I was never going to say anything mm -hmm. if he got away with this. Because I'm just like, I'm not going to be the guy on the other end of this. But I said in myself. I said, self, I hope he don't get nobody indicted for yeah. this BS and foolishness that he's doing it. Like, yeah. so at that point when I seen him at the club, so it's like, yeah. you're, uh, you are this big figure who you are. Mm -hmm. And at this point that you've allegedly been beaten because you're black and you're gay, the where you want to go make a statement at is in the club and you want to say, I'm the gay Tupac. What is that? No, what is, no, What does bro. that mean? I don't even know. It was Tupac attack. I don't know what that meant. Like, it's just Tupac like I'm attack? a revolutionary. I'm a fighter. I'm a go with, like Tupac meant a lot to a lot of people. So oh, I like, thought he was saying because he like bounced back from this attack. Like, I don't. It, I didn't understand the correlation. I but see that that's when I really was like when I seen that I was like oh, it's just a matter of time. This is before the reports even started coming out. I was like yeah. okay. I was like I hope he don't get nobody indicted from this foolishness. So you, that was early because I'm gonna tell you. I when know I, from the rim. I'm gonna tell you when it when I first saw. <laughs> My first time when I was like, oh, no, just it. Because <laughs> before you like, here's my thing, right? I'm I was more skeptical, skeptical of the police than just it. OK, because mm -hmm. if you recall, the Chicago police are the same ones who mm -hmm. said Laquan McDonald, he was running with us to with a gun. No, I and we had to kill him. No. And, when, and then for over a year, mm -hmm. they said we had to kill him. He was dangerous attacking us this and that and the, the video, video comes out. out like 14 16 months later mm -hmm. he's walking away and they shot him in cold blood right okay see, so my skepticism mm -hmm. I, the chicago pd but see that's the thing though we're on this that's crazy that you would say that my skepticism came because it was never off nothing if you recognize the police were actually relatively mum i was going off what justice said it wasn't had nothing to yeah. do with what the police said. They said, he said this. So I'm just going off of what he said. I'm just like, no, there's something wrong. There's a disconnect here. It's, this doesn't make this. But do you, do, do you, or you didn't hear none of the police stuff? That didn't, that didn't affect your decision making no, at all? No, 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 I was going strictly off of what he said. Okay. Off of his recount. I was just like, actually it was just off of the recount of what happened. It was just, mm -hmm. this is allegedly what happened. I was like, that just, this sounds like somebody is just trying to make this seem worse than it is. Like yeah. just off of the rip and I was just like, 
No, and I was just like, well, I hope nobody gets indicted. Like, you know, I wasn't going to sit there and say nothing because, you know, I'd be on the wrong side of things a you lot. You do. So I was like, I'll just say nothing. It's not my business. But I was like, if it ever comes out, this dude needs to go to jail. Okay, now. And that is a fact. No, no. I hope you're not going to say anything against that. We no, can fight. No. Oh, I don't know. Violence? I among, just felt, I just, among friends? I just felt. I so felt here's my, it. I'm going to tell you when I first saw skepticism. Mm-hmm. In my own mind, mm-hmm. when they arrested the brothers mm-hmm. and they were black I was like, hold up now. <laughs> hold, wait, 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 wait hold a on. minute. Right. First of all, these dudes were strong. Very strong. They could have washed so Jesse. Just, they were, people were calling them Wakandans. That's racist. <laughs> right. I think they're Nigerian. Right, right. right? So, the but, one oh, they were saying dude, Wakandans because they're strong. Because they're strong. Okay, got it. The that. one dude, I was just like. It was his personal trainer. I'm, I know that later. <laughs> okay. They, but that wasn't released right, right, at the top. Right, right. When they when the people were black, I was like, so is he saying the black people were because now they're now they're black people. They could be washing empire. Right. But why would they be? <laughs> why would they have MAGA hats and then call and then him racist the things? And they're black, too. And they're black, too. So I was right. like, ah, just say why they had to be black. Right. Because right. <laughs> even if they have ski masks, you're assuming if it's a if it's a MAGA get out of MAGA country, you're you're or you're assuming it's a, a white Trump supporter. Right. You right. Know? So when they had the black dudes, I was like, ah, oh, just So you it. knew, but I, I ain't know. Okay. I know. But at then at, that was the first time where I was like, ah. <laughs> uh. So then mm-hmm. it comes out that they knew him. Okay, now, now, quite as kept, to be fair, a lot of times things are inside jobs. I, and I gotta ask I you. I know question you. That, okay. I'm a, like how many rappers oh, and athletes okay, have been okay. robbed yes, okay. by their by their boys? Okay, uh, payment disputes. I know where the money is. So just because they knew him doesn't mean they wouldn't they, they do this to have him. Done, they right, right. Done, and maybe they're trying to throw somebody off the scent. I never thought about that. Okay, okay valid yeah, point. I'm gonna Very beat you up point. and I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a red hat on and make you think it was some racist. Make you think it was some racist because it's an inside job. Because I'm gonna t- I'm gonna just be right. one keep it one honor. I don't know why Justin would make this up. And right now, there are some he theories. ain't admitted it, it's a lie. There's some theories. And I'm I'm, I'm going to tell you, though, I don't want this to be true. I don't I want, want it to be true But I'm going to tell you why, though. Okay. The main reason, okay, this type of stuff does happen to black people and mm. gay people and black and gay people, mm. right? Unfortunately, we are in a society where one bad apple ru- ruins them all. Right. Okay. Now, oh well, Justin was lying. It could be all them people. And I'm like, mm. I, the last thing we need mm. is real racist or real attacks that happen because there really are people being lynched. There really are, it's you really know, happening. people being right. hurt, hurt, harmed because of their color sexual or orientation. sexual orientation. Right, right, right. The last thing we need is is this to be true. Mm-hmm. So. And Jussie is still double downing that he's the victim. And that's where I have an even bigger problem. Because you know I always preach forgiveness. Forgive everybody. Forgive everybody. But one thing that I'm probably even more standfast about is (laughs) steadfast about (laughs) is is accountability. Mm -hmm. I say that to my daughter all the time. I say, Kira, I know you're going to make mistakes in life. I get that. And we'll all handle them accordingly. Mm -hmm. Just don't be that person who cannot be accountable once you've made a mistake. I would at least start to give him the benefit of the doubt and at least a little bit more of a not so harsh take. Mm. If he could at least say, you know what, I was in a dark place. I was bugging. I put these guys in, in, you know, in a bad situation. I just kind of lost my way. I apologize. Now you're just insulting. He's through his lawyer said, no, I, uh, Jesse is very upset that he's being painted this way and he's a victim. Bro, shut up. And I just saw the, this morning on the news that the, that the police are no longer considering him a victim in this. He's not. So I'm like, I'm like, OK, now let me ask you this, mm-hmm. because this is the part that doesn't make sense to me at all mm-hmm. and still doesn't. Right. Why would Jesse Smollett, who's been on a hit show for what, four or five years now, four years, mm-hmm. movies, Famous family, sister Journey Smollett, great actress, been in a lot of stuff. For what reason would Jussie have a reason to make this up Thing and is, lie? Why? Why? It Why? could be a number of reasons. It could be <clears throat> mental health and him just not being, mm-hmm. you know, all the way together in his mind. And that's nothing to joke about or play with. Nope. Um, it could be 
there's rumors going around that he was afraid that he was going to get written off the show. And Fox denied that. Right. And you know. I, let me pause you there. Mm-hmm. If Fox was writing him off and and they hadn't, they absolutely are going to be like, what? They have to. They're like, right. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We wouldn't. They could have been yeah. erasing his name. But they were but never going to admit that. Exactly. So no. There's, so that's, so they denied that. But again, right. if that were true, they couldn't be like, yeah, we actually were going to write him off. Right, exactly. Right, like they're not. So that could be true. That could be true. Okay, I don't know. Right, there's. there's I don't know why you would write him off, but I ain't watched the show. There's minute. different. There's different theories going around. Also, uh, Kamala Harris. Mm-hmm. I said her name correctly. Kamala Harris. Okay, yes. and um, she is presidential a candidate. Presidential candidate from they, the great state. And they said that she was trying to get an anti lynching bill approved. Was getting met with some resistance. Jesse was at one. Jesse was at one of it her ain't parties. Jesse. Jesse. Was at one of her parties, mm-hmm. and maybe in his mind. So I don't want to even no, put that me, out there. I don't okay, want to say that. I'm just saying that's theories. I didn't say that. Conspiracy theories. Those are conspiracy Internet theories. Internet conspiracy theories. Those are so that's not anything anything that I know or ICT. have any. Yeah. But I'm just saying that he no he is no longer a victim in this particular situation. And the thing that I feel like is very dangerous about this is that I look at him that he is more dangerous than the monsters he created in his head. And those monsters I mean that that would go and attack a mm-hmm. young black gay man for his race and for his sex. Because if you really did all these things knowing it wasn't true, you put some people who probably looked up to you because you're the star of a show, they were extras on the show, you put them in harm's way to help them carry out this stupid plot and then you went out in the world and you love to soak up this attention and yeah. sympathy from all these people. So I don't have a lot of sympathy or empathy for him at this point because it's like, bro, what you're doing is very, very dangerous. And I and I, I guarantee if the if the tables were flipped, let me ask you this. Okay. If the tables were flipped and this was a uh, white person a doing point. this for black people, would you have given them all those passes at the beat? No, I'm not saying giving them all the passes, but would you have... Would you have stopped and let them let it go so many times before you were like, wait, this doesn't really make sense? No. I forgot what I just said. Wait, no. No, what I'm saying is if it was turned around, would you be looking at it the same way? Absolutely not. I'd be it's you'd just be livid. It. So you'd yeah. be livid. Wait, wait. So you would be livid if this was a white person doing this. What? And you're not livid at Jesse. Is that what you're saying? hmm You do know what a double standard is. Yes. And that is one. Oh yeah. See, and that's why I think I, I get so care. much. See, that's why I go for everything black and get that, and I get that. But I think that that's why. And I get, until Jesse said, "All right, y'all, I lied. I'm with you to the end." So, 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 Please. so, if this was a white Please, person Jesse. saying this about black people, would you still, at this juncture of the investigation, you'd still be like, "I need to see more." Mm-mm. That's a double standard, Kevin. I admitted that. But that's a double standard. Well, I know. Okay. I accept that. And I think that's why I get so much flack because I'm like, I just want to call it fair across the board every time. No. I can take color out of it. Co- oh, my. I can take I, no, I can, you take, what you mean I you'll can take, take color, color out, of it, out of it. I can, if, if you're doing something lame, I'm like, you just did something lame. Nope. What are you talking about? Hey, I ain't taking color out of nothing. Okay. Minorities. Minorities. No, 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 no. Listen what I'm Minority saying. Minority report. No, no, no. What I'm saying is this. If you tell me a story yeah. and the story don't make sense, it don't matter to me if you're black, white, whatever, your story doesn't this make sense. This ain't no Michael Jackson song. It does matter <laughs> if you're black or white. Okay. So that's I'm going to be honest. Okay. If you are black, giving you the benefit of the doubt. Okay. For as long as and I feel like I gave him the benefit of the doubt by you not. You didn't. You thought it was black, but I didn't jump. say anything. You said it to me. You texted me. Because right. you're my because you're my best friend. I tell you a lot of things I wouldn't say in front of this camera. True. Okay. So I I gave him the benefit of the doubt, and I was hoping I was wrong. I I'm was still hoping I'm I wrong. was hoping I was like I don't want to be jumping the gun on this guy, but his story don't make sense. And the more he talks about it, the worse it looks. Because you ever notice how people start talking when they have been caught in a lie. You ever know? That's why I don't lie. Because once you tell one lie, then you're just trying to keep it up and do all the extras. And I was just looking at him like, no. Mm-hmm. None of this is connecting. He should they, they should probably get the cameras out of his face. Well, apparently the cameras... So I was, <laughs> I've been reading a lot about this. Uh, apparently, <laughs> if you believe the naysayers, mm-hmm. or the doughboys of the world... What? Because you're a naysayer. Uh, Are I you would, not a naysayer? In this particular in this situation, particular situation? I would like to think I'm a realist. A realist could be an essay. Okay. Realist. You you don't believe his version of the truth. I do not believe him, okay. no. So if you don't believe his version of the truth, mm-hmm. the the people who are on your side mm-hmm. are saying they did, <laughs> I don't, I'm sorry for laughing. <laughs> they said he did a rehearsal. 
<laughs> at this place. He did a rehearsal for the saying. staged beating? They found the camera spot and they said, this. let's do it right here. When it happened, the camera was turned around. So they didn't get no footage. Okay. I forgot to mention one thing. <laughs> the second thing that. So he's just an idiot. <laughs> uh-huh. He's not good at this. No. Well, here's the thing, though. There's if this is true, which I still don't believe. Kevin, it's true. I do not care what you say. Kevin, the, I am blind Kevin, to the truth. Kevin, I are you saying to me what I want? I'm, I'm saying, are you I'm saying to me that these I'm two? Are you saying that these two young men from from that were that worked with him on Empire mm. said, you know what? Let's just t- go out on a limb, make up a lie about somebody that is not doing anything wrong, make up this elaborate scheme, and let's just throw our careers away. It could away. happen. Either of those make no sense. Kevin, Kevin, this is very... Like, Has that never happened in Kevin, the world? Kevin, Kevin, you've got to start calling stuff across the board. I do not. Why not? I don't want to. <laughs> okay, so, now here's one thing okay. I want to say. Right. Okay, I want to get the heat off of me. I'm getting hot. <laughs> so... People who there was this whole argument on the internet about skepticism, mm-hmm. right? I can't open this. You're not this? strong. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to open it. So you, be... you can't open it. I can't. <laughs> we didn't have dads in our lives. We both had our fathers. You can't open it. Hold on, cuz I got it. It's the way that you grabbed it like I was a weekly. <laughs> We we need the now we gotta open it. We, we can't need just, the people in the video. We can't keep going. Oh, hey! first try. Uh, here we go. Now in post, speed that up so it looked like I did it fast because <laughs> it was it was on off. It was you tightened it wrong. Got it. There was this whole argument about skepticism, right? So some of our people on the internet, friends like Tony, for example, right, right. Tony jumped in. This is wrong. This is wrong. Right? Whatever. There's a lot of people who did that. Right. I didn't post anything, and I don't really know why. I was asking myself. Because you knew in your heart no, he was not, not telling it. the truth. That's not it. I, I don't think that's it. I only post stuff that I, like, I was like, dang, this sucks. But mm-hmm. by the time I found it, everybody posted it. And I just, like, even when celebrities die, I only post the ones that, like. Have a personal connection. Yeah, like, I don't just be like, oh. Right, right, right. right. Whoever. I don't want to, you know, right, right, right. D- belittle someone's death. But right, I don't right. just post everything everybody's posting. I got you. Right? Um. So I saw it and I was like, dang, that sucks. That's crazy. And I was just thinking about it for a while, but I didn't never got around to posting it. Mm-hmm. So there was a lot of people. And here's, here's what I want to say about this whole thing. Mm-hmm. More than one thing can be true. Okay. okay. You can be compassionate mm-hmm. and believe victims when they say X, Y, Z happened to them. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you could jump in two feet first. I'm with it. This is wrong. Call a spade a spade or whatever. And then if it turns out that victim is lying and that's proven to be lying, you can be like, okay, well, that was wrong. Because now on the internet, people were like, there was this whole argument about this is what's wrong with y'all. Y'all jump in without having all of the facts and y'all be wrong, you know? Um, and like, it was like uh, belittling compassion. Right, like, I don't want to do that. Why, why right. can't I jump in and say, you know, okay. And why can't I believe somebody right off the why rip? Why can't I believe somebody? Right, which and is, if they turn out to be a liar. Then we to address it then. Then I'll address it then, right? right. But I don't want to be going at, and this is outside of black or white or whatever. Right, right, like, right. I don't want to just be approaching everything. Well, like, we need more information. We need right. more information. Because, you know, that same thing always happens. You know, when black people are killed by the police, it's always like, right. well, let's wait for all the facts. No, no, no. You know what I mean? I'm, right. I'm going to jump in both feet. Whoever was that. wrong was wrong. Right? So I don't, I think... If he's lying, you could be completely right in your compassion for him when you have the facts that you have. Mm -hmm. And then if it turns out the truth is not the truth as presented, you can be like, that's also wrong. It doesn't have to be either or. And there's another thing that people were saying that I was like, that's not true. So there's this argument on Twitter. A lot of this was on Twitter. Mm -hmm. This guy, there was a guy basically saying what you're saying, but not being rude. Yeah, I'm like, not. He was just I'm saying, not being rude. No, 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 you're okay. not. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. He was just like, this didn't make, this doesn't make sense. Right. And he wasn't even saying I didn't believe it from the beginning. He was just saying like, this doesn't make sense. So this girl was like, black men, y'all are homophobic, homophobic if you don't believe Jussie. Still, no. like, listen. Still. Yes. After all this stuff has come out. Yes. Okay. That's Here's just the dumb. thing about homophobia. Mm-hmm. You can disagree with something mm-hmm. and not hate that. Right. Nothing about what you're saying is you don't believe Jussie because he's gay. No. Not okay. At all. Like it's that just, doesn't I didn't, make I didn't you believe homo- him because it was a bad story. Right. But right. that doesn't make you homophobic. But no. especially on Twitter, like if you have anything negative about anything, you were always on the other side of it. 
Right. You hate women. You hate gays. And that's you unfair. hate black people. Right, like, right. no, I think it's okay to have as much compassion as you want, mm. or as much healthy skepticism as you want. Mm-hmm. I think, and you can. It's a. It's an open forum. You can speak how you want, and you can. Here's the thing, bro. You are allowed to change your mind. Absolutely. That's what the world is based on. You yeah. have to be able to you change ha- your mind. And because we're on social media, right. our thought to post. Mm-hmm. Speed, it, it's, especially on Twitter, right. is so high. We are literally tweeting our thoughts. Mm-hmm. And sometimes you have, with your thoughts, you mm-hmm. have the emotion and anger of the information you have at the time. Mm-hmm. And then when you're presented with more information, mm-hmm. you turn out that, okay, this doesn't make sense. I'm going to give you a perfect example. We are mm-hmm. doing Ask a Policeman uh, two days ago. White dude, a friend of mine, mm-hmm. right? So he's, he's spouting this. We're talking about Kaepernick, right? right? This is like a day after he won the... Uh, settlement. Got it. Right? He's, we ask him, does he agree or disagree with his protest? And he mm-hmm. hits us with the, well, you know, you're, you know what people be saying. It's, you're, you're okay if you want to protest, mm-hmm. but, um, you know, just not then. Not during the anthem. You could do it some other time. This mm-hmm. is not the right place, right? Right. So I hit him with this. Okay? Little did you know that the players used to not have to stand they didn't go for, out. They didn't even the have anthem. to come out the locker room. Didn't have to come out for the locker room. Mm-hmm. And not until the NFL started paying mm-hmm. them, uh, paying the team, I mean, paying the leagues to force the players to come out because- Because they got the, money from the military. They got right? money from the Department of Defense because mm-hmm. the patriotic display, the anthem, the flag, the flyovers was all to boost recruitment Mm. For the uh, for the military, right, right. So it's a business decision. It's all dollars and so cents. So all dollars and cents for the NFL. They don't care. And mm-hmm. the breast cancer awareness people, they gotta pay them too. Right. So the league is like, yeah, we'll we'll talk about the army, but you gonna send that bag? It was like twenty one million dollars or something like that. It was and crazy. then that's when they started making them. And that's when they started coming out. So Colin Kaepernick is like, well, if you force me to come out, mm-hmm. this is how I'm gonna protest. And he and it was a veteran who told him, don't sit. Neil, Neil as a sign of respect as a sign of respect so the police officer was like well i didn't know that mm. and that changes my perspective on the subject because now i understand that you can this, hear all all sides of it right because and that's why the nfl was like i don't the nfl was that homer meme like i don't really want to say nothing but we right. need that nfl right we need that department of defense money mm. so now presented with new information he's allowed to say okay well now let me reevaluate my thoughts because now i didn't have all that information before right 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 and also i had to tell him like i mean i i try to be respectful on that show and mm. not like go at people right but i'm like if you are asking somebody to prote- protest another way, what you're really saying is, I don't want to see it. Right. Do it in a way where I don't have to see it. Like right. when they were doing sit-ins, we don't mind you being upset about uh, uh, um, uh, segregation, mm. but just don't sit in my restaurant when I'm hungry. Protest another way usually means I don't want to see it. Don't, don't in- inconvenience me in any way. Exactly, which it. would it defeat the whole purpose of the protest now, wouldn't it? Right. right? So I said all that to say, mm. presented with new information, you are allowed to change your feelings. So you could both believe Jussie at the beginning right. and then find out some holes in his story and then not believe him and not be homophobic or black bashing or right. hate yourself or hate gays or whatever. And you could be, you could more than one thing could be true at the same time. Absolutely. And I and see, and that's why I took the approach that I took. Like, like my approach was okay. This none of this makes sense to me, but I understand the platform that I have. I understand the audience, and I was just like, it's best for me to just keep my mouth shut mm-hmm. because I don't ever want to, you know, victim shame. I don't ever want to make anybody feel a certain type of way. But this is my biggest thing that I started to increasingly have more and more of a problem with. Mm-hmm. And this is another part that can show you like just on how I grew up and how I look at things. When you do something, we're living in very dangerous times. And what I mean by we're living in dangerous times, we're living at, in in times where you see police officers kill black men and mm-hmm. don't face any repercussions or lose their job. It's racial tensions. Like, we, like I feel like we made this podcast to be a light hearted thing and we have to talk about race relations I feel like, every dude, single day. Can so, we just have a light topic? Exactly. And we never can. Is right? there anything fun that's not like... Is, we can't make jokes about this. No. You know, maybe here and there, but I we mean, really can't. Yeah. And so that's the thing. So it's like we're in such dangerous times and I come from an environment... Perilous time. Really. And so what does perilous mean? Serious times. It's okay, cool. It's an exaggerated got, version so, of dangerous. So this is this is this is the really inherent problem that I have with what he did or what he allegedly did or what it looks like he did. You put a mark on some people and said, 
it was some people in a MAGA hat. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I come from an environment, I grew up around gang members. So whenever something would happen to somebody in the neighborhood, mm -hmm. they'd be like, let's go out and get one of the guys and it don't matter which one, just get one with a blue let's hat. Let's Liam Neeson Let's this. go, let's go get anybody who looks like that. So when Liam you put Neeson. that, you gotta understand with the way the world is right now, the way that people are on such edge, when people hear that, people be wanting revenge. You got mm -hmm. black people in situations where we always feel stepped on, we always feel like our voices and being heard and when they hear something like this they're like oh somebody just did this to who we ride and let's go so now you are creating a even worse situation from what's ever there and we don't even know what your intentions are we don't even know why you did that you just did it for whatever stupid reason that mm -hmm. you had to do it and it's too dangerous to do that now some people could really this. get hurt i agree i agree let me ask you this yeah Okay, Mr. Upset and Hot. Because it's just, it's serious. Oh, you hot. Okay. I'm up. It's serious, brother. Your heart be racing. Right. You don't do no cardio. Your body's confused. Because it's, right bro, now. it's for I, real out I here. I understand. Okay. Okay, let me, let me ask you this. Yes. Mr. Angry, what happens if fourth quarter, Jussie down 28 to 3? He's the Patriots right now. Mm -hmm. Looks like the game's over. Mm -hmm. What happens if it turns out Jussie's the Patriots? He scored touchdown, pick six. He ends up winning the game. And How you going to feel? I'll come on here and, and just straight to camera, apologize my face off. I'm Would wrong. Would you? Because you know why? Okay. Oh. You know why? Let's take it you down. Know why? You know I why? I will sock you. You know why? On the hood. You know why I would do that? Yeah, all right. Because I'm it in It could be whatever. <laughs> it could be one Don't way or it could be, be another way. I, I watched would. The Wire, bro. Don't <laughs> trip. <laughs> so I would. If, I, if, if it came out that this was just... Uh, uh, just a circumstance of events that are just very wildly and out there and events. we were wrong I could sit here look straight to camera and say you know what I opened my fat stupid mouth again <laughs> and said something dumb and I'm wrong but you know why I can do that because I'm an accountable person somebody on Periscope said <laughs> nobody will give Jesse a shout out <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Jesse. So okay, that's the you're thing. You're an accountable person. I'm an accountable person. So if I'm wrong, I can I can own that. And I haven't said anything for two, three weeks now. Cause I'm just I've been sitting, you know, I've been sitting on my hands like mm -hmm. ah. so with what he is doing and the implications that that just go further than mm -hmm. him. You weren't even thinking about these two guys. Their lives probably ruined now. They still went along with it. Yeah, they're not going to be able to work. These guys are, are they're from Nigeria. I don't know what their immigration status is. I don't know what it is. But these guys are they're, that's not just no joke. You can't just do stuff. Well, Apparently they're released without charges. You know who needs to be charged? Jussie. Jussie? Lock Jussie up. Why? Because that's a crime, Kevin. He can't get a slap on the wrist. No. You got, no, yo, seriously. The reason why I look at it like that because I want it you. to all be a playing field. It needs to be a level playing so field. I am, man. Why you cannot calm down? Okay, you're right. Take a deep breath. Take a sip of your cough. Okay, you say something to them, man. Take a sip of your cough. Because it's just, I, there's no, I, I, it's, bro, it's, all of this stuff is just making this harder. I agree. For all of us. Yes. Like why? And then you got people coming to your defense. And then so you're apparently it, it could be if, if 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 this is not true, it's a felony. He could be serving one to three. Give him four. Oh, okay. Okay. Except, <laughs> no, no, like no. black people don't go to jail. But, wait, weren't you the same person that said okay, when we were talking about accountability? Didn't you say when people so you so <laughs> Hold on. So when a white woman is says a tweet on her vacation that has racial epitones and loses her job, you like, oh well, that she shouldn't have been doing. So if this man orchestrated a fake assault in the public eye, you don't feel like he said, no, 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 no. Let me cut. Let me cut. <laughs> we need to go to break. <laughs> We just be through. We go through Bro, so much. It's a. Do we really cut? No. What? That oh, doesn't turn the camera I didn't know off. what it did. It's just. <laughs> I, thought you, I thought you hooked something up to that. It's <laughs> just a piece of wood. I didn't know. You thought this control the camera? I mean, I didn't know. Do you know what this is for? I do know, but what I, is it for? The slate. I I know what the name of it. it what is it for? What is the purpose of this? To start a scene and to end a scene. Okay, but what does it do? Why do we slate? I don't know. You just was saying <laughs> something. You don't know for real? No. Okay, this is what the slate does. Okay? It's quiet. That's why they say quiet for a slate. When you're editing and you slate, there's a big bump in sound. Oh, then you can just so go you can right match to the it. audio to the video. So that's why this won't turn the camera off because it's just making a sound for Josh to look where he can line it up. Hey, turn okay. The camera back on. <laughs> <laughs> How have you been on sets for that long? I never ran a camera, Kevin. But you. You don't need that 
Jesse running what? Okay. How did I not know that? How did you not know Jesse was lying? Jesse. I don't know that Jesse yes. is lying. Listen, so back to the point of what been I was- been acting for 20 years. <laughs> you just was like, I accept this knowledge. I don't question it at all. But when it comes to Jesse, you owe Sherlock Holmes. Nah, because- well, he couldn't have been at the coordinates for 230. Whoever goes to the subway and the man with the mega hats and why would they go this way and that way? I don't believe nothing. But you just sat here and been on set for 18 years and was like, I have no idea what this set does. And you pointed at me for being double standard. You ain't question none of this. Well, but when always, a black man- You're deflecting. No, 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 you're always when deflecting. When a black man- you're man deflecting. Come out in the world, you automatically think he's a liar. Nah, nah, you're you're deflecting. race hater. You're de- you're you de- hate America. You're deflecting. You hate Jesse, Fox you're, Empire. You don't like Taraji P. Henson. I love Taraji. You want her to Don't fail. you ever say that. You just like cookies. And I and love that's Re- her character. On I Empire. met Regina Hall the other day. She touched my hand. I just wanted to let you know that. She's a beautiful I woman. I saw her on you. I was beautiful. jealous of that. Tell me that we didn't look like a great couple together. You if, if did we, not. Why would you say that? Put, you did not. We didn't look like a good couple? No. Why? She's 50 years old. She looks 20. Okay. You're 40. You look 800. <laughs> what are you going to add to Regina Hall's life? Uh, a lot. I already slid in them what? DMs. I'm just waiting you for the response. I, what could... What? You want to see uh, the... I got the receipts. You better not. Oh, you think it's a game? You didn't. You think I did it? What did you say to Regina Hall? You're going to see what Why I said to you wasting her time. Nobody racing. Me and Regina Hall could be a whole thing. That is impossible. Me, what for me and Regina? Yeah. Why would Regina Hall be like? You know what? Doughboy in North Hollywood is where I'm. <laughs> you lie. I ain't lying. <laughs> I'm gonna read y'all this. You're in it. You shooting from outside of the gym with this? Yo, them. everybody gotta have a dream. You want to talk about <laughs> shooting your shot? I slid. You Let th- me read. You thought you I wasn't this going to? DM <laughs> with all the confidence in the world. Absolutely. <laughs> Tag Regina Hall. <laughs> All you were supposed to do was do dad jokes with her. Okay, yeah. This is what he does after it. <laughs> it was so dope meeting you today. I'm a fan of your work. Was wondering if we could grab lunch sometime. <laughs> Either way, have a great weekend. My name is Anthony, by the way. <laughs> Prayer hands. <laughs> why, why these hands at the end of that? Because it's a majestic moment. What does this mean? <laughs> we should grab lunch. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> why, why this emoji? Okay. Absolutely not even seen. Bro. She's not checking that. Okay, but if she did. Did you me- really think Regina Hall was going to be like. Absolutely. Hold on. Keep, like, hold on. You're not going. Hold on. Hold on. You really uh, thought. Hold on. First uh, no, of all. No, no, no. I'm not talking about a random girl on Instagram or some actress you met. Regina Kevin, Hall is legitimately Kevin, don't famous. S- don't sit here and act like women that are out of my league. I don't get Famous actresses. I'm not talking Put about this beauty. Put this on the picture. Put, no, no, no. Throw that away. Don't show that picture. A picture of Regina Hall. Of me and Regina Hall. Do you think she took a picture with Pat and Richie Loco? But do you think Pat, dope boy. Do you think all I need is an opportunity? All you I need is Pat, one lunch. You think Pat slid in Regina? I'm calling. <laughs> you gonna call, I'm gonna call Pat? Patrick right now? And I Can you hope put the picture answered. up there? I hope he. I want answered. y'all to tag. How dare you? That's Regina. The Hall. nerve. Is it, I'm going is the, to. Is the picture coming up? The no. nerve of you. I'm going to put a big blur right in front of you. The nerve of you to bother <laughs> Regina Hall. She's on a movie set somewhere. I hope he answers. That's all good. Oh, I hope he answers. Let him answer. You are utterly ridiculous. No, I this <laughs> I'm calling Richie Loco. Because did, did, see if Richie Loco got a picture with Regina Hall. It don't matter. Everybody got a picture with her. Look, but when she touched my hand, chills went through my body. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Richie Loco. What, do, bro? what up? I got you on live right now. I just want to let you know. So don't say anything you don't mean. Can you hear this, Josh? Play what? I said you're on live. I'm recording a podcast and the most ridiculous news just entered my ears and I need to share it with you. I got Doughboy here. What's up, Richie? Uh, Richie. Uh, <laughs> You know when y'all shot dad jokes with Sam Jackson and Regina Hall. Right. And y'all all got pictures with her and him. Uh-huh. Do you know that Doughboy slid in Regina Hall's DMs? <laughs> Richie. I had to. Why would this man slide in Regina Hall's DM and ask her to lunch for real, Rich? Because she's Regina Hall. But, but, but Cam, why does that surprise you, Cam? I don't. I don't know why it surprises me, Richie Loco. This man is patently ridiculous. <laughs> that's 
that's no boy fashion. I'm not. I'll be more surprised if he did slide in the DM. See, you see, he knows what it is. Thank you, Richie Loco. I Thank love you, it. Richie. Yeah. Give my best to your wife and children. <laughs> Oh, uh, bye. I want y'all to tag Regina Hall. Don't man. you dare. Tag Regina Hall Don't and put couple goals. Don't <laughs> bother Regina Hall Yo, with this nonsense. Why would you think I don't have a shot with Regina Hall? Kev, you told me that. Kev, you told me one time when I had a good haircut, you were like, no, man, you a handsome cat. You are handsome. It's okay. I, I, <laughs> you said that I'm handsome. You, I, I think you're really handsome. Okay, so you then, got the light eyes. You got a, you got a personality. I and you and you have had relationships with a lot of beautiful women. So why couldn't I get Regina Hall? No, no. See, let me tell this you why. This is what you're saying. Okay. This is what you're saying. Okay, okay. Kev, you played me. basketball in high school. Yes. On the junior varsity team, you four did. years in a row. Mm-hmm. Why can't you beat LeBron James one on one? Okay, and you know why I'm a that is you. No, no. You think I could beat LeBron? James? Would you be surprised if I said LeBron one on one, me know, versus you? You know, to 11 you, know why you're, you know how you're surprised? Why? Because you're looking at Regina Hall at who she is right now versus who I am right now. And I always look at it like who I'm going to be. I'm going to be the man. Did you slide her DMs in the future? Oh, yeah. Or did you slide oh, her DMs Oh, no, because today? I know who I am. Where would you take Regina Hall to dinner? I would take her to Papa Do's. <laughs> there ain't no Papa Do's here. You flying to Houston to go to Papa Do's? Mm-hmm. And you know Papa Do's expensive. Hey, man, I've been working. I don't really have a job right now. But look, I could take her. We can you go on a walk. We go to Runyon Canyon. If you In your dreams, this is dumb. No, no. Why would Regina Hall want to go now, to Runyon Canyon now, and go to Papa and Do's? And just because you're saying that, I'm going to make sure that I talk to Regina Hall. And when I talk to her, she's going to make you eat your words. Uh-huh, what yeah. are you going to say Absolutely. to Regina Hall that's going to make me eat my bro, words? That we're gonna, what? Bro. What could you possibly say to Regina Hall that me, could make me eat my words? Dog. What could she say? You would have Dope to boy marry is her my and bae? have eight ch- That could happen. Are you, are, you, are you really saying that... Okay, so t- so just take okay. Oh, listen, listen. Take all the take all the extras out of it. Take all the extras out of it. Oh, you really oh, feel oh, oh what no? Because you know how I get down. You know how I rock. Do you really tell me if I took Regina Hall to dinner and had one, and she really was open to listening to what I had to say? You telling me I couldn't secure first a second date? First of all, be honest. That in itself is a stretch. How is it a stretch? She got to eat three to four times a day anyway. Why would she eat with you? With me. Why? Because Why? I'm Doughboy. What I'm does that, that matter? dude. What does that matter? I'm a good dude. I got a good job. What? I'm What's handsome. What's your good job? Oh, you y'all don't have, have a job. I got a vision and a dream. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going places. I believe that wholeheartedly. <laughs> I'm be I somebody. Do. I do. And I would need somebody on her level to, to just, and, and I'm a writer. What is Regina Hall? An actress. We could be like Malik and what is their name? And, um... What's their name? They're oh, on, who? on they're on BET. They made the game. Did you talk about the real characters? No, or the, the people actors? that created the show. I don't know. There's I don't know who there created a couple. The they created the game. They created um Being Mary Jane. I don't know. There are a couple. I don't know. That could be me and Regina. D- new nickname alert, Delgina Hall. <laughs> Come on, man. Come I, on, I, man. If if I had your confidence you, you, right you, now, I have your You thought I you thought I wouldn't shoot my shot? Bow. <laughs> <laughs> There's an answer to your question. Bow. Absolutely. So if Regina is out there, you are appreciated. Shout out to Regina Hall. And if you ever see this, please do me the biggest favor. Help me prove this scallywag. For real. I believe for it. For real, though. I've, I've liked I her since. I know you got the bravado and you you were real one capping. and you from Sacramento. Let me be 100 with and you. And you ain't accidental. When I met her and she touched my hand, I felt something. In my back. I felt it like Do, okay. she has good energy. Let me tell you why. Do you let think. Let me give you a little. Hold on, hold on, okay. hold on. Then okay. I'm going to let you tell me why. Okay. Do you think she felt something? Or was she just being nice? No. Let me tell you. Now I, watch I think this. she no. was. No. I because think she you, did feel something. No. You, go, you making me out to be the bad guy. Like, you I don't are. believe you. In Las Vegas, <laughs> waitress is nice. <laughs> Doughboy shoots his shot with a you? girl in. In his face, who is not Regina Hall. Okay, when I tell you, c- 
curved. <laughs> curved. Exactly. All she want to do is bring you your order. <laughs> oh, let me take you out some time. We could probably eat here if you like this food. Nah, I don't like men or women. I don't like no one. I don't like pets. I don't date. I'm not here. I don't like anything. I'm not here. I'm not sexually attracted to any species on earth. I am a non-sexual. Right. So I watched you get curved. See, and I'm okay curved with that. Your you know why? You know why, Kevin? You know why? You know why I can do that with such confidence? Because you miss a hundred percent of the shots that you don't take. Oh my gosh. Ye feel you No no. I absolutely Okay, so that, we're gonna leave the names out of this. We'll okay. leave the names out of this as we yeah, always I, do. I know what you're gonna there say. There have been I women didn't... that were strongly out of my league. And when I told you in this day, I said, hey, I'm gonna I'm yeah, shoot the I... shot at such and such. You was like, doe, come on, get out of here. What happened three weeks later? You was like, wow, doe. You you did that. Regina I, Hall, I, don't worry. We're yes. talking about Regina. Regina. But, but no, no, no. We're talking about Doughboy. Y'all got it. You're looking at this the wrong way, baby. You're looking at the only way. No, you're looking at this the wrong way. I'm Doughboy. I think we have. I think we. She we're, hasn't even accepted your message. Exactly. Because I'm not her friend on Insta yet. I should have asked her. You already met her. I'm putting it in the universe now. To we will her. go on a date before the end of the year. I'm putting it in the universe. I will give you one thousand dollars. I want my money. One. I want thousand dollars. Money. If you, I eat don't want to hear dinner. dope boy. We was just on the show. It was a joke. If you I will use this and footage. Regina Hall alone, I will take Regina Hall sit out. Sit down at anything and both of you put food in your mouth and take a sip of water yes i will give you one thousand dollars on the spot it's gonna happen how because i am who i i'm a good dude how shall you contact her Be seen as how the dm is unseen what's your next angle because i'm curious okay she she's gonna be promoting a movie so you're gonna stalk her. You're I'm gonna, not gonna stalk gonna her. Pull but up if at her I just place of employment. Happen to show up and she, hey, from that, how you doing? What are you doing here? So you're hey. gonna shoot the same DM in real life? Man, I, man, I'm telling you, I'm, this is all jokes aside. When she touched my hand, I heard the Temptations. I don't know what song it was, but I heard, like, I heard something, man, and I was just like, she's a good one. And and people was picking on me during the show. She laughed at all my jokes. You're funny. Yo, no, let, no, let me no. let me be clear. No, no, no. Let me no 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 no. Let me be clear. Yes, you're funny. Okay, stop, stop, stop. What does what does ninety percent of women say that they want a man? A man that can make me laugh. Okay, so I'm one for one. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm funny. Your logic is No, but look, how, okay, how about this? You just sat here and laughed. <laughs> All type that, of funny. That's how, my that's how your laugh you? is. Okay. Because I thought that I can get Regina. Okay. Mm -hmm. So why don't you tell me why I can't? <laughs> one. One. Tell me one reason. She is Regina Hall. Okay. The reason I don't think you can get at her is because you have no way to contact her. <laughs> you don't have her phone number. Your DM is currently unread. You won't get her number. You're going to email her. How will you get in contact with Regina Hall? That's the first thing. Okay. You don't be, when's the last time you seen Regina Hall before that day? I never seen her in person. When's the next time you gonna see her? Sooner than later, I suppose. Never. I'd like to. Never. <laughs> it can, I would be surprised if you even had another conversation with her because she's Regina Hall. She is acting, she is traveling. Okay, so let's, just, so let's just get past the, the if I could get into just, it. Well, okay. no, you I, can't I can get tell past you, that. You know how they do it in Hollywood now, Kevin? I would have my people reach out to her publicist. You don't have no people. Okay, I can have Josh do it. What is Josh, what I got $25 with your name on it. Can you, can you get out what to her Josh publicist? What is gonna do? You That's can, gonna let you You get can hit up her publicist and say, hey, I got a guy, Doughboy, he's on the rise. He would love to take your client out to steak and sushi. Let me tell you something. You can say that. Let me tell you something. I don't care if steak and sushi don't match <laughs> surf and turf <laughs> i reached out to a publicist uh -huh. okay because i'm gonna tell you i get curved on a professional level too okay i reached out to all type of people for Aska. Mm -hmm. hey you want to be on this show breath of hitman heart it was like ask us somebody else <laughs> <laughs> no response okay. i get curved left and right this is kevin say who on what no shut up <laughs> okay hit tommy the hitman hearns remember him yeah guy who beat up martin in that episode mm -hmm. hey tommy you want to be on the show sure kev how much, Tommy? $15,000? You should have said no. Because <laughs> obviously, what you think I have and what I have is so far. I appreciate you, Tommy, because you hit me back. Sugar Ray Leonard. That's what you did there. Want to be on the show? Publicist. No, bye. Get out of our email. Okay. Right. No problem. This was for work. Right. Okay. But see, that's the thing. 
that's 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 the thing. When he, nothing we say to him is registering job. No, no, no because what, what y'all saying don't make like this is the thing. All women want at the end of the day is a good man. I'm a good man. Okay, okay. I'm a, Facts. I'm gonna take. Okay, am I'm I not a, a good man? I'm. A, I'm, I'm let me be Regina Hall. Let, let's do this. How much okay. time do we have before we have to break? Eight minutes. Uh, six minutes. Okay. Six minutes. Me, we're, I'm Regina Hall. We're on our first date. I am. You're really uglier than her. <laughs> <laughs> and you have bigger boobs than this. her. Because you said you're going to get her to the second date. Okay. You said I have bigger boobs <laughs> than her. You have bigger boobs That didn't register immediately. <laughs> but when it did, it hurt. It got through the gloves. Okay. Got, <laughs> you punched me in the back of my okay, head from you. the front. Okay. You said you're getting into a second date mm -hmm. with Regina Hall because okay. you're a good man. Yes. Okay. I'm Regina Hall, million dollar actress, mm -hmm. producer, mm -hmm. creative, mm -hmm. 50 year old, beautiful black woman. Mm -hmm. Okay. You want to take me on a second date. Right. God himself has moved heaven and earth mm -hmm. to let this first date happen by the grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christo, Jesus Christ. Dear Christ. Jesus Christ right. himself whispered in Regina Hall's ears and said, look, I know, <laughs> I know, I know, girl, <laughs> trust me, he really needs this. Okay. Do my boy a solid. And just hear him He's out. a good dude and hear him out. Okay. If you don't like him, you don't rock with him, no second date, guaranteed mm -hmm. access to heaven on your boy. Okay. JC, I know the big JC's one. JC's, okay. That's my pops, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. okay? Pick up your phone, pepperoni pizza just texts you back. <laughs> So what you doing, big I'll see this is Pat. It ain't Pat. Okay. Okay. Our first dinner. Mm -hmm. You need to prove to me, Regina Hall, that you're mm -hmm. a good man. Let's role play this. Mm -hmm. Hey, Doughboy, okay. Regina Hall. Hi. What's good? I ain't doing? dapping you up with the softy because right, I don't right, trust right. you. Right, right. I'm a little bit taken back because mm -hmm. I'm just doing this for Jesus. Mm -hmm. But hey, how are you? Nice. To go. Pleasure that we're here at Papa Do's. Right. Obviously, you only have $100 to spend, mm -hmm. but I appreciate it. Okay. Regina. How are you? I'm doing good. How you been, Regina? Fantastic. Oh, so busy, you know, with movies and TV shows and being mm -hmm. beautiful. Right, right, right. And like 50 years old, but I only look like 25. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I touch people's hands. They totally freak out, take it too far. They slide mm -hmm. in my DMs. I ignore them. I show them to my friends. We laugh. Mm -hmm. Didn't happen to you. Right, right, right. Of but, course. you know, of things course. happen. But anyway, I'm great. Great. Okay. Duba, Dubois, what is Doughboy, it? Doughboy, Doughboy. Oh, so what is, is that how you usually approach life with a nickname? At yeah, what? well, you know, my mom calls me Tony. Oh, you know what okay. I'm so, so, so I'm going to call you Tony. Yeah, so I just wanted to just first off congratulate you. On um, what? The best decision that you've ever made in Wh your life. What's that? Letting me take you out. Like, I know you can't see it now. Oh. Uh. And I know sometimes you could just, you know, sometimes in life we can only see what's directly in front of us. Yes. But much like you, I've been inspired by your career. I've been a Have fan you? of yours. I've been a fan of yours since way back in the day when you did name, Scary Movie. Name me, th name me five of my projects that Scary you Scary Movie, Malibu, Malibu's Most Wanted. Mm -hmm. I can go on and on. No, no, wanna, name me I don't name want me I don't more. to get in the weeds. No, I, I, you know, I ain't really been Shaft. Through the movie I, that's, that's coming just out coming that up. I just met you. But at. you've been, I've you been, been a fan. fan from, give me I've two a, more. I've been a fan. No, no, but no, I, no. You love me. You're inspired <laughs> by me. I am. And I've been down. So yeah. take Shaft off the table because that's how you know me. Okay. Give me three more of my projects that you love. Okay, look, I ain't gonna hold you because that's what most men will do. Don't tell most me you don't know five. No, no, no. Let me tell you why. I'm not gonna sit here and front you. That's what most men do. Most men sit here and try to front. A lot of men put on the mask. I'd rather come up straight to your face, tell you exactly who I am. My name is Tony. I'm from Sacramento. I got a little girl. Her name is Kiara. She's 13 Kids? years old. I have one. I do. Kids. I do. Absolutely. But you want to know why? You want to know why? Kids? You want to know why me and you would make he sense? He smooth went past the fact that he don't know five of my projects, but I'm gonna let it go because no, 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 he was he was direct with the lies. No, 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 no. But see, but see, that's the thing. strong. Because see, I don't ever want us to lose trust. Now, see, if I sit here and just try to impress you, you didn't see the hate you give i have not i have not seen the hate you give oh, yeah, but that has nothing to do movie. with your performance you don't I've see just, my show on showtime i haven't seen your show on showtime but you know what much like i want to get to know you i want to get to know your work more okay moving forward and i just mm -hmm. want to just leave you with this leave me with this you need a man that's going to be good to you that's going to treat you right you need a man that's going to be able to make you laugh okay you're going to need a man so you know i i'm all about treating a woman right i've struck out many times i've been wrong i've been on the wrong side of things but i've grown up and i'm matured into a 30 year 39 year old man mm, that 39? knows what it is i'm not here to waste your time are these real chains they're not i got them from a kiosk in the mall what? you know why cuz i grew up listening to rap music i just be wanting to impress my friends but i wouldn't spend that type of money on this cuz i'm trying to put a little girl in college in a couple years so i just wouldn't be remiss to spend my money like that oh remiss now i, now I know that you could have any man 
that you want. Mm-hmm. Any man in oh, the world. So on. let me just quantify this for you. Quantify. You can have any man in this world that you want. Mm-hmm. And guess what? What? You're the only woman in this world that I want. Boy. I don't want to date that you. Work? I, wanna, I don't want to date you. I want to court you. <laughs> I wouldn't be sitting here wasting your time if I wasn't trying to walk down an aisle one of these days. <sighs> I mean, you tell us if that gets Doughboy to to the second date with Regina Hall. You don't think it would? <laughs> if I had your confidence, but see, listen, let me. Okay, I, let me, I would be. Let me and let me quantify this for the you. Moon. Let me quantify of Saturn. Let me quantify this for you with a with a oxygen mask made from scuba diving okay. gear. And let me quantify something. Okay, to you. okay. You never now, use you the know, word quantify until you were on a fake date with Regina Hall. By okay. the way, and so, how did we go from Jesse? Because we needed to lighten it up. To dr- it was dr- tough. It was tough. So okay. listen to this. The same way that you laughed just now. <laughs> That's just the craziest thing I've heard. Do you know that I got that same amount of laughter from family and friends when I was 30 years old and said, I'm moving to Los Angeles. I'm going to be on Wild and Out. No, 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 no. Listen to this. You listen to this. They were like, ha, ha, you're too old. You can't do that. Da, 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 da. Oh, well, I did make it to Wild and Out, and I did four seasons. I said to those same people, I got a vision. I want to work with Russell Simmons. I've always looked up to him. It's going to happen. You ain't going to be able to win with Simmons. Actually, he's one of my best friends. Now I gave me $15,000 when I lost 200 pounds. Mm-hmm. I've said things before that might have sounded crazy, and that always end up coming to fruition. I will gladly. I want my G. No, I want you to know I'm going to hold you to it. I'm going to, it won't be like when we bet on some push-ups and oh, uh, yeah, you ain't got to give me no. I want my $1,000. I will take $1,000 out of my children's college fund, <laughs> even though I have it in savings. Okay. And hand it to you. I'm going to give you one even better. Once me and Regina get up and rolling, we're going to double date with you and Melissa. There we go. And I think we've talked enough today. <laughs> so is the cancel, is, is the culture canceling Jesse? Jesse. Jesse. I think he's absolutely canceled and he should get some jail time. I reserve the right to make my final decision until it is clear. Because he's sticking to his guns and the police are sticking to their guns. And I reserve my my, my see, right to judgment until the final moment. But see, this is the thing that he also might want to think about. Hmm. They're not charging you now. They're not charging the other guys that did this. You know what that's saying to me? Hmm. We caught your hand in the cookie jar. Just say that we caught you and we can let this go. Because what you don't understand is hundreds upon hundreds of police hours, FBI hours, Mm -hmm. have been logged into following this case. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have been pulled over. Uh, This isn't a joke. No. So maybe, just maybe, the common sense pill needs to kick in. You know what? I'm up against it now. Maybe I should just kind of cut my losses before they be like, you know what? You want to keep playing? Okay. Put him in some bracelets. I, and I don't want to see nobody go to jail. I don't ever. want I don't want this. But I want I him want, to stop. I would rather us just forget about this. I would rather just See, no, stop. I think though see that's the thing. You gotta call people out when they do stuff like this so we can set examples. For people black or white. You can't just be out here lying. You can. No, Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> Kevin. This has been another episode Listen, before of we let Righteous you go, and Ratchet. This is a bonus episode. Yes. This is the last free bonus episode. This is it. Okay, what we want to do is build this podcast up with y'all support. So you always want to get it on Wednesday and we ain't going to hold you no matter what. Mm-hmm. But if you want a little more Righteous, a little more Ratchet, visit our Patreon at RighteousAndRatchet.com. And if you give $5 or more a month, you'll Your get access to double everything. the Righteous and Ratchet a week. Two episodes a week, up to eight a month. Might get more. Yeah, we okay? got you. And this ain't going to be for everybody. We ain't going to hold you. If you ain't got it, that's fine. You still get your once a week fix for free. And if you don't like Patreon and you want to do it straight up, you say, let me give, let me pay the 60 for the year. And you do that, you can email Doughboy. I am Doughboy TV at Gmail. I-A-M-D-O-B-O-Y. And TV. Doughboy will personally mm-hmm. email you the bonus episodes because yes. you want that more righteous and that more ratchet. Mm-hmm. And and sometimes the bonus episode is going to be better than the This was regular. a great time. I don't know episode. what we're going to do for tomorrow's recording. Yeah, we're going to have fun every time. No, I love you and I respect your views, even though I feel like maybe they should have a little tweaking, but I respect them. None and I less. respect yours. And, but do you Sometimes. respect my ambition to get Regina Hall? Absolutely not. I can't wait. And when we and, and when we do go on a double day, we're we're gonna film that. I just want so to see the look on Regina your face. Regina Hall wants to be filmed. She she loves you so much. She's like, let's film our double date. I'm gonna tell you this with, with two other people I don't know. I'm gonna tell you this, and this is where we can leave it. Okay. This is the reason why I feel so strongly about Regina Hall. 
Hold mm-hmm. on, before you leave me with this. Uh-huh. Before you met her, did you have any thoughts, any feelings, any anything? Or was it just a tan touch connection? No, 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 no. I always thought she was gorgeous. No, I get that. So I always was just like. No, I get that. But I never was like, oh, I wonder if me and Regina Hall. Like, no, it was, you know. Okay. She's a movie star. Now, like, leave she's me so with far it. away. But. So far gone. This is, this is what I felt. When she shook my hand, I literally felt a tingling sensation in my back. And it wasn't nothing like, you know, some crazy sexual attraction. It was like, I felt something. Like, I felt energy. But then even after that, this is what gave me the thought to think that she could be mine one day. The way she looked at me. I can always tell the way a woman looks at me. Well, how does she look at you? She just looked at me like. <laughs> First of all, that was a, a very specific look. It's, I'm telling you. And that. Like, it, and that's that all it was. That made you be like. I think that why there can't be. Why can't we be friends? And then when I seen that why picture. Can't we let's make sure we friends? add the picture of me and Regina in post if we can. Go to Doughboy's Instagram. We're not putting much on Josh. This has to go up tonight. I mean, okay. You're asking him to edit. He's got a whole thing, man. He's okay. got to get back home to the real. Okay, I got you. So this has been a great conversation. Um, <laughs> thank you all, all of the right tits out there. We love you all. And um, Hold on, I want to just go to Melissa. I'm going to go in my room and be like, hey. <laughs> go give it a look <laughs> just see what no nah, see- because trust me I've gotten a million of looks that when women don't mess you they they get you with the <laughs> I've gotten that a lot but this, did that look tell you hey man maybe we could be something no I thought that if I could have been around her for a little bit longer that I could have struck up a conversation this is why I respected her a lot more too before they brought her in they were like hey you know um, we gotta kinda speed this up Regina has a pinched nerve so I thought she would kinda be short with everybody what Mm-hmm. You wouldn't have even. We wouldn't have even. I wouldn't have even. Had known anybody that. not say that? How, exactly. How I don't. Say, I don't. Total doubt professional. You that she was the super nicest, nice, most lovable, soft hands, beautiful soul. Smelled great ever, and she's funny. And she's beautiful. She's That's. So I mean, could you imagine? Like we would have the funniest kids. Oh I'm just saying, like our kids. Okay, maybe. Okay, here's the here's the line. I've once again crossed it. Okay, it went from cute and adorable to weird in one statement. I get it. I have been doughboy. <laughs> This is just really, you don't think I can get Regina, do you? My life's mission is clear now. Before we let you go, okay, now here's my, I I know we got to close. What? If you can get Regina Hall, who is out of your league? Nobody. (laughs) Nobody's out of my league. See, I said that on one of my green light specials. We got to stop saying things like that. When you say somebody's out of your league, that's like almost shutting yourself down. I know I'm a good man. Beyonce. Divorces Jay Z. Yeah, you believe absolutely. Give it, the- and I'm not even trying to be funny. You know why? Be- has she has she done that? No, to I you? haven't got that look from her. Of course not. But I'm saying, like, if she ever Beyonce, get- Giselle knows. Absolutely. Why not? That's the thing that you have to understand. At the end of the day, why? We- because why? Because a billionaire, no boy. I'm going to be a billionaire, Josh. Like I just don't have it yet. I'm just driving Uber now. <sighs> See, that's the thing. You're just looking at me for who I am. I look at me for who I'm going to be. I, I, I'm going to have abs one day, Kev. I know. You've been telling me. All right. You've been, no, but, Yeah, all right. No. I was also 480. Okay. Okay, but yeah, now, right. now how many times you were supposed to end the year with abs? Yeah, all right. I ain't did it yet. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. So I, you got to admit I have some reason right. to be skeptical. But at the same time, you know I'm a good dude. Beyonce? Why not? Hold on. Let, I'm glad you said that. Who is Beyonce's husband now? Uh, Jay Z, right? Yeah. Now take away all the things that Jay Z has accomplished. No, no, because that's how why he got so her. Now you're making my point for me. I'm gonna be that dude eventually. I just need her to under. And she, that's the thing. Regina is such a dope woman. She you know, no, no, you, you, you didn't. You didn't say you could get Beyonce in the future. In our hypothetical situation, right now, if she was divorced her, right now, the, right now, you're right. at the Rock Nation brunch, right. eating. Everything. You know why I feel like that? Eating everything. You know why I feel in like that? In between French toast. You know that. <laughs> in you know between that? French toast yes. and hot links yes. that you brought yourself because they don't <laughs> serve hot links at Rock Nation uh, Brunch. Yes. You pull up on Beyonce. Right. And you are taking her. <laughs> yes. You know why? I know you from somewhere. You know uh, why? Did you used to be in a group? <laughs> you know why I feel that way? Because in my mind, when I see people that are famous and like there are these huge stars, I always remember one thing. They were us before they were them. We're just regular people trying to figure it out. That's it. So I know that if, if Regina Hall wants a good man, check. I already know I'm that. If she wants a successful man, check. I know I'll be that. So I can be. But I know Regina is so dope. She would date me if I was a carpenter. I just feel that Regina would. 
Regina's that kind of a woman. Shout out to G- Regina Hall. Oh my God. And that's how we go in the episode. Sky's the limit, man. You got to know how to think, man. I, I just quit my job. Didn't know what was going to happen. I. That's how I jump. How do I learn how to swim, Kev? I jump in the pool, bro. Can you swim I don't put my. Yes, I can swim. I don't just put Most my feet in the water. Floating, but. I jump He's in the buoyant. pool. He's buoyant. <laughs> Have you seen him? Did, have you seen him float? Dude is above water straight. You feel me? Okay, it's a lot easier to swim when you just gotta do this because you're already floating. But still. I just want to see the look on your face when we go out. Now I'm it's on. gonna be this. <laughs> you already know. He did what he said. Thank y'all for tuning in to another installment. We love you all, all the righteous out there. See y'all next week. By the way, Doughboy's shirt is for sale, righteousandratchet.com. Hey, if that's I your cuss. testimony. I love Jesus a lot, but I cuss a whittle. And I believe I can get Regina Hall shirts coming soon. You know what? Don't make me don't make me mess around and put that picture of me and her on the shirt. Don't do that. You can get a Regina. Please don't. Do you think that'll help? All I need her to do is to know that I like her. I'll do the rest. One date, Regina. Just one. That's all I need. Shout out to Quantrail. <laughs> Shout out to Justin. Shout out to Regina Justin. Hall. The love of Doughboy's life. Regina Hall. God bless you. There we go. We are out of here. You Please. You believe I can't get Regina? I, I really no, you just saying that for the cameras or you really believe that? I no, won't. it's just me and you talking now. No, it's not. Josh, you really don't Doughboy, believe that. as your Best friend in Ke- the world. Kevin, you really don't believe because you know who I got before. She was very much out of my league. She wasn't Regina Hall out of your league. How was she out of your league if she working with <laughs> No, no, don't cut it. Don't cut it. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna spill who it was. Right. She working in our area. Right. She ain't on Fox stages in regular movies. She's doing what we're doing. She you, she, you bumping into her Kevin. at all. No, 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 no. You bumping into her at all type of events. You right. on the same sets with her. Right, right. You bumping into her all the time. Right. You don't be bumping into, when do you be bumping into Regina? Don't, you don't bump into walls, <laughs> furniture, freezers. freezers. You bump into everything but Regina. You seen her one time in your life, cuz? And then I was like, how did I not bump into her before? You compare because Regina Hall. Regina Hall that's you, like you, you, street, you, you be, he have little faith. You been you the the girls you talking about? I've seen them. Okay, but do you know that before Regina Hall was all these things? You know what she was? She was probably a young and that struggling like actress trying to find her way. And people years. always remember who they were. She'll remember that. Oh, I used to just be out here auditioning, trying to get on. This is a young brother so I'm, out here. I'm a successful, rich, yes. black woman. And I'm going to be and a successful. And I remember so much what it was like when I didn't have a lot of money, no disrespect, yeah, right. where you are in life, right. didn't have a lot of money, chasing my dreams, just new to LA. Mm-hmm. I'm going to forgo people who are on my caliber, men who could treat me and keep me with their money on the level that I'm accustomed to, Mm -hmm. and I'm gonna throw a caution into the wind, Mm -hmm. and I'm gonna go over to North Hollywood. Absolutely. You got a roommate? Absolutely. Don't make me know that but, but see, But see, Kevin, you're making my point for me. It's because I'm not, just because I am here right now does not mean that this is where I'm gonna be in six months. But you talking to her, okay, now. Because look at my track record and I can back it up. It, I got receipts on what I do. February. Right. Right now. Yeah, by my birthday, it will have happened. What What's going to happen? I will have taken Regina Hall on a date. And if you want to bet $1,000, we can bet that now. August I never 21st. Said bet. I said I will give. I'll, so I'll I'm bet not you. betting you. No. 500. No. 200. I don't want to take your money. I, be- I wish you the best. You 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 see what you already did. You shorten your time from the whole year because to I put August. it out there in the universe. The universe don't care. Hollywood ain't ain't but so big. She's not that unattainable. I can get her attention. You think I can't get her attention? Well, let's see. I'll DM her and see if she. That responds. was my first step. What's your second? Hashtag. <laughs> That's gonna work. I gotta just get her attention. Once I get her attention, absolutely. Okay. And I can't wait to see that smog, ridiculous look on your face when I take her out to Benny Hanna's and the like. <laughs> Benny, uh, the, you really the, think the, I can't? So I'm the, we, you ain't just capping for the camera? No. If there's no, no, there's no cameras here. There's nobody. Wait, there's nobody here now. It's just me and you. Just you and I. You really don't Our think. Criminal. You really don't think I can get Regina Hall? You really in your heart? If she sat down and listened to what I had to say, you don't feel like I can get Regina Hall? Just be honest. If I talk to her, <laughs> if I convinced her to talk to me, you don't think I could get Regina Hall? You don't believe that? Do you not believe it? I'm going to answer, answer you. Answer me. 
Do you believe it? Not at all. <laughs> Absolutely not. Okay, okay. No. That shows how much you believe in me. No, it doesn't. That shows how much I believe in your ability to date Regina Hall. You're trying to make this. I don't believe in no nothing about Doughboy, and that's not true. Two things so can be true. Like no, 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 no. Two things can be true. I believe you're funny, hilarious, and talented. You're gonna get everything in your life except Regina Hall. <laughs> you gonna put parameters this year? Yes, bro, bro. Seriously. If she is single, and I don't know her relationship status, if Regina Hall is single, I will. I if you just put me in the same parameters of her, you were oh, in the no, same. I parameters. didn't want to make it weird. That's why I slid in the dims. Y'all are man, and ain't nobody sitting here. The ninety-five gonna touch and agree. Somebody say Doughboy sounds real stalkerish. No, that ain't, no, ain't no stalkerish. It's gonna happen. Okay. I can't believe it. You don't believe me, man. That'd be your own Kev on stages. <laughs> your own Joshy Gun. Prove me wrong. Oh, I'm going to prove you wrong. Prove me wrong. My life's mission has become crystal clear. <laughs> Shout out to Regina Hall. You are crazy. I can't believe you think I can't get Regina Hall, bro. Shout out Regina Shout Hall. Shout out Regina Hall. You stupidos. Like I can't, man, listen here. <sighs> Did you turn it off, Josh? No, we're still going. <laughs> oh, they seen all that? <laughs> <laughs> I could absolutely get Regina, bro. You bugging. Oh, Yo, come on. You bro. burnt. For real. You okay. a whole dub. Okay. For, you a whole dub right for, now. For real. For real, for real. The camera's off. Okay. Pretend. Okay. You really think you get Regina Hall? I, I'm not even. I can't. No, no. Because I know that a lot of times. No, listen, no, listen. I know a lot of times we joke. I know a lot of times I say stuff for the camera. I can make myself seem stupid. Okay. I'm being dead for real serious. I think I have a legitimate shot at Regina Hall. Because at the end of the day, she's a good woman, she's looking for a good man. And I'm a good man. Don't worry about all the other stuff. I'm gonna get that in due time, baby. I have it all. Okay. All right. And we're gonna go on double dates. I promise you, if you if you would date Regina Hall. I'm gonna date Regina Hall. I want you to pick out my lottery numbers because obviously. You think it's a luck thing? For what reason would she say no? Outside of the fact that I have a roommate now and I don't have a ton of money and bad credit and I'm a little overweight. What else? Like, what's the deal breaker? I can lose weight. I can make money. I can, I can get good credit. I can get credit. I can get. Why would she wait? Why would she get good credit? I can. Why? Okay, him, let me ask you this. You're for real? No cap. You're just, you being for real. I don't, I don't know when you're being for real. Or I don't know how else okay. to tell you. Okay. Why would Regina Hall or any woman on this earth <laughs> huh? wait for you to get your life together if they already have their life together? Because Why I, would Regina Hall be like, oh, okay, now shoot, he ain't got no job now. He ain't writing, ain't working, ain't doing nothing. Because of, no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. I let you get your stuff out. You did. I'm going to wait till he gets his credit. As soon as he gets his credit right, loses that weight, gets a job, gets any money, uh, stops wearing fake chains, any of those things. And I'm not even saying she's materialistic. And mm -hmm. I don't think because you have to have a lot of money mm -hmm. to, to have someone. Mm -hmm. What I do think is people date mm -hmm. people in their socioeconomic class right okay regina hall is a millionaire right okay you ordered 20 nuggets at mcdonald's five times to save them to make sure you had stuff to eat on thursday and friday <laughs> because you had plenty of room in your freezer i did okay. that many nuggets for two days you think you you're real funny <laughs> you think you real you funny you had a steak in your trunk <laughs> the other week okay everybody has steaks in their trunk so Regina Hall is like, all now you now you got to deal with Regina. You right. got to deal with all her friends being like, "Girl, you're Regina Hall, <laughs> okay? I know who I am, and I love this man. Absolutely, who brings at this point in time nothing to my life but humor. No, that's not true. Because that, let's break down what you just said. Okay, yes. Okay, do I have a job? Do I have a job right now? Hold on, let me let me pull this up. I want I want to be heard. Don't lean on the mic because your yeah. arms are heavy. Okay. I'm sorry. What you just waited till he said something? Been the whole okay. Time. All right. So, do I have money now? No. 
that can change overnight. One of these scripts can sell. What? I'm writing a movie what, for what, us. What, what script? I'm on the road. On what a, script? I'm writing is, scripts for a movie with you and I. TV shows with you and I. And, and why would that sell this year? Because all it takes is one yes. I've sold. Have I not sold a pilot before? I, 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 did it not sell for north of three hundred thousand? Like how you said, did not do that. You did. Did not now, do that. Hold on. Okay. You did. Now let as me. As an employee for a company. No, no, that's not even what I was going to okay. say. Okay. That was something you were writing. Right. That was written. Right. That you wrote for almost two years. Right. To get it to a point where somebody said, "I'm going to give you three hundred thousand. Right. Okay. Okay. You don't have nothing that you are writing that is in that shape this year. Okay. Is that true? Okay. Because you're throwing that out. Okay. That I'm, that's going to sell. Okay. Have yeah. you wrote interior office day? Okay. First of You got an outline? I've heard, first, I'm working on all of that now what did you and tell i'm me today? also the ep on a highly successful podcast called righteous and ratchet you think righteous and ratchet's gonna get you to regina hall ratchet ratchet the the power of the righteous shall sustain me you think absolutely okay so so with that being said so I, now okay so i am work do i have a job right now no. no why do i not have a job because i was bold enough to leave my job or dumb security. enough if, you, okay, if you're hurt because you, you quit your job too did you not quit your job? Did you not quit yes, your job? I did. Okay, maybe I didn't have everything that Kev on stage had, but I jumped. Don't you. I ain't afraid. I jump in the water and I learn how to swim when I'm in there. That's the type of person I am. So I don't have a job, but I work very hard. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm still overweight, but I used to be a lot more overweight. I, I, I. All these things are changing. Now, if I was just sitting on my hands not working, like, you got to be crazy enough to think that these things can work. Why would I think that I couldn't get a woman on the caliber of Regina Hall? She's eating a I don't, computer plate right now, Nova. What is that? She's eating off of what? Thank you. <laughs> what do you say? You always try to say stuff to confuse me. Charcuterie plate. Do you What's know that? what that is? <laughs> it sounds like cheese. It is? See? I ain't that far from the truth is what I'm telling you. It's one of those I can do the dance. Just show me the steps. <laughs> I'll figure it out. <laughs> I will figure it out in due time. <laughs> it sounds like cheese. It and it was, was cheese. Right. Exactly. It was right. Exactly. Sounds like Exactly. And look at that. It sounds like cheese. That geez. quick. Exactly. You, it ain't that difficult. How did you even get that? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> sounds I'm like saying. cheese. And you know what I know? Cheese. Exactly. You really think that if you put me in a spot with a cheese tray, I'm not going to be able to navigate my way through it? Good all that. Pull up. It's a party. We could talk about this all night, but we won't. And I'm gonna prove to you and all the righteous that I'm gonna get Regina Hall. Oh my God. <laughs> Dead. For real. We, we gonna cut. I'm not we, even we joking. After this, I'm being for real. For real, Kevin. For real though, Kevin. For real. Let me tell you why. I believe in my heart that my wife is going to be a phenomenal woman and very highly you successful. Know, I Do you know that, that Regina is hot? Regina Hall is highly successful we and very that. beautiful. She's okay. She's an established woman in society. And I'm going to be established, Josh. See, that's what's wrong with y'all. Y'all don't know how to have faith. You just be saying it and then you don't be believing it. Why would I think that I couldn't get a woman like that? Why would I think so that? For real now. I really believe that. I'm for not real. even, I'm not capping. I'm not doing this. Because so we, the cameras we all this is going to get cut off. Anyway, I'm no being for no, no, I'm being for No, no, no. I'm no. being, <laughs> I'm <laughs> being honest with you right now. I feel like Regina Hall is not out of my league. Okay. I slid okay. in DMs. You we slid know. in her DMs. Okay. And it's quiet. Yeah. Creaky. Yeah. Yeah. I, Creaky. yeah I, but let her see it though. She probably won't. See how many followers is uh, we we gotta cut this episode off. Okay, but how many followers does Regina Hall have? Over a million. Look it up. Okay. Just just look it up. Okay. How many DMs do you think she gets on any given day? What does that look, matter? They ain't dope boy. She got one point nine M's. Okay. Let me look at Regina Hall because maybe I'm seeing a different person. Let me just make sure <laughs> I'm not seeing. No, no. <laughs> That's her right there. Man, she's fine. So let me see. Did she put the picture of you and her up? I didn't give it to her. I was going to ask her for a number so I can send it to her, but she had like kind of hopped off and security was around her. Uh, someone said Baker and Cake. <laughs> Hall. I like that. Yeah. Okay. More power to you. What? I wish you the best. Come on, man. You guys will make a great couple. Come, come, now you're being a good friend. I believe in it. Don't don't give me sarcasm. Oh my gosh, <laughs> who am I? See, you're Who not being I? for real. You're not being sincere. Who 
You're not saying the truth for out of you right now. Josh, do you think I can get it? What time we here tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all trash, man. I just want to see the look on your face when I get it. It's going to be this. <laughs> Y'all get it. Like, you remember that face? Ah, I told him every time. Ah, you crazy kid. Yo, put the picture of come, me and Regina Hall here, as the thumbnail of this episode. Grab, grab my hand, babe. Come here, Jean Jean. <laughs> she likes Jean Jean. She lets me call her Jean Jean. Jean. I, if you get Regina Kevin, Hall. Kevin, you know how I go. Just think about it. Cause, okay, so take all the accolades out. And we ain't going to talk about none of these other women. There, there have been other women. Uh, one woman, and we won't say any names, has actually become a pretty famous actress. And you know, you know who I'm talking I about. Know Do you know who I'm talking about? about? Yes. And she's about to be really popping, right? I think you can and, get her. Okay. And she's, right now or in 10 years. Okay. You you and her, y'all paths, she might be a little ahead of you right now, mm -hmm. but she ain't far. Okay. She's not Regina Hall. Okay. This is you and this so is you mean, so you So by your rationale, if I would have met Regina Hall 15 years ago, it would have happened. No. A better. Not at all. Don't, <laughs> don't put words in my mouth. It just would have been a bigger chance. Possible. But now it's impossible to you. Yes. Okay, well, I'm going to prove you wrong. Because this is you. I'm not going to put you on the ground. You know I'm not on the ground. Okay. But if, whatever You're you wanna, here. Right. Regina Hall is in Africa. Okay. And how do you get to Africa? You get on a plane. She's actually in Nigeria because somebody was like, Kevin, don't say Africa. It's a continent, not, not a country. You need to be specific <laughs> about it. Because somebody went to Africa to feed some kids. And I was like, she went to Africa to feed some kids. Okay. And they and said he was like, you didn't go say the country she went to. I didn't know it. Right. Because you know what she said? You can't respond to everybody on these comments. I didn't respond, but I'll sock cuz and don't and they don't can forget go a that. different way. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all it right. could be whatever, cuz on the dead homies. But I'm just having a real I, I think you capping for the camera right now. I don't think that you really disbelieve You're this much. Crunch for the camera. <laughs> we are both honest. Do you really believe I can't get Regina? How many different ways can I say this is impossible? All right. Well, then we're going to see. We'll see you guys next year at this time, and we'll see if next Billboard year? and Regina Hall are buried. It's going to happen. When's your birthday? August what? August 21st. August 21st. I'm putting it in the universe. I'll, I will have- By August 21st. <laughs> I will have a yes or- How about that? I will have a yes or no by August 21st. So if nothing else, she will at least be like, nah, though, it ain't cool. Josh is closing the store in the middle of the episode. Bro, that's how you feel? <laughs> We love y'all. Yeah, we do. We'll see you on Wednesday. All these people hating. You might get a date, but relationship, nah. How would you know? He ain't getting none of it. We love y'all. God bless you. God keep you. We'll see you at Regina and Doughboy's wedding. Reception. Which is set for April 1st. You'll be the breast man. <laughs> <of this year. laughs> Goodbye. Chicken breast man. <laughs>